Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going back to Route 22 to fight our rival, get a new Pokemon, also travel east over here to the next route. So anyways, I will see you guys in a bit once I travel through Viridian Forest. Okay guys, I am back. It didn't take too long for you guys, of course, it was like a half a second cut, but going through Viridian Forest can be pretty annoying after a while. So anyways, we're going to come over back here to Route 22 to battle our rival and also get a new Pokemon for our team, but we're not going to do that until we actually beat our rival. Now, the reason I didn't do this earlier on is just because we weren't exactly ready for our rival battle. So your rival's going to come up here, and he's going to be like, Hey, Goku, we're off to the Pokemon League. Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? Actually, we got the Rock Badge, though. Or the Boulder Badge, so we're good. The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Yes, our Pokemon did get stronger, and we are actually pretty over level for this battle. Um, if you guys want to know the different Pokemon your rival can have, he's always going to have a level 9 Pidgey, and then he's going to have the starter that is strong against your starter. So, um, I actually did some battling, or I didn't actually, I don't know if I actually healed. Okay, it looks like I didn't heal after the gym battle. So, we do have enough tackles to take him out. That's really all we're going to be using in this whole battle. And we get a critical hit. Nice. We're going to be able to take this Pidgey down in two shots. Unless we miss tackle because of the accuracy. No, we are not. Pidgey's going to go down quite easily right here. And we're also going to go up to level 15. I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur learns. Yes, he's going to learn Poison Powder and also Sleep Powder. So, I'm not going to learn Poison Powder just because we don't exactly need it. But Sleep Powder, on the other hand... This is going to be a very useful move in this battle, too, just because we're going to be able to put his Charmander to sleep, and we won't have to worry about uh, losing. Not like Tackle's going to do anything to us, because we are pretty over level, but um, nevertheless, we're still going to use this. Unless we miss it like that. Come on, Bulbasaur. Hit that Sleep Powder. He's scratching you. You don't want that. There we go. Hit the Sleep Powder, and Charmander should be able to or shouldn't be able to move for three turns at least. It, unless RNG's not on our side. So let's go for a tackle right here. Take down his health and I think this will be a three shot KO. So two more tackles should do the trick and yes it will. He's still asleep for one more turn which is good for us. Tackle will be able to take him out and we pretty much just destroyed our rival right there. Nice. <laughs> so we're gonna get some EXP from that and yeah you lucked out right there Magic. You take that. Got a second win on you. So, anyways, I'm gonna catch my next Pokemon now. In this little patch of grass right here, I don't know if we'll get him right away. We'll try the first one and we'll see if we get him. If we don't, I might have to cut uh, until I actually get my next Pokemon. Okay, it looks like we're not gonna get the Pokemon I want just yet, so I'll cut once we get him. Okay guys, I actually encountered the Pokemon. That didn't take too long, it was like three encounters, but we're gonna send our Bulbasaur here and put this Pokemon to sleep. This is another reason why I want Sleep Powder, is because um, we're going to be able to catch our Pokemon that we want pretty easily. Um, if you do have a status effect on a Pokemon that you're trying to catch, it actually does higher the rate by, I don't know, I think it's like 10% or something, or it depends on which status it is. So let's go into our bag right here, get our Pokeballs out, and throw it at the Spearow. I actually have a name for this thing. It's going to be another cringy and pretty, um, I don't know. Not that great of a name, and we got it in one shot, nice. The sleep definitely did help there. It is level 3, so uh, I might do some level grinding with it off screen. Or maybe uh, before we go into the next route. But anyways, we're going to name the spear right here Robin. I know. We've got cringy na names all over the place for my Pokemon. But, I've always named my spear this, so we're going to do just that. Anyways, I'm going to cut out until, or cut out the video where I'm going back through Viridian forest just so you guys don't have to watch that so i'll see you guys in a bit okay now it's time to travel east over onto the next route over here and you do get your running shoes so we don't have to do this slow slow walking anymore and i didn't do any level grinding or anything on my pokemon um i don't think we'll worry about him until next episode but this uh scientist is going to st stop you right here and he's going to give you running shoes now the way you use these is just press b hold down b and you should be able to go pretty fast. Um, it is faster than walking. Here's Dear Lennon. Here's a pair of rain shoes for the belonging. Oh, okay. So he gave us a letter with it. That's cool. So anyways, 
yeah, we go a little bit faster than walking. The animation is a little bit derpy, that's for sure. Uh, let me show you. Look at that. Look at that. He's so cute. He's so cute running. A little sprite there. Okay, let's fight the, this trainer right here. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't get to read the rest of that. That's fine. Maybe I shouldn't press A as fast, but last Janice is gonna battle us right here. Gonna send out Pidgey. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard. We just took a level 9 Pidgey with our Bulbasaur, so let's go for a tackle right here. Uh, that's going to do a lot of damage. We should be able to take him out in three shots unless the last heals, but usually normal trainers, only cool trainers have uh, full restores or potions or something. So Gus, this Pokemon actually has Gus, not like our rival. The Pidgey is going to go down though, and the last has one more Pidgey for us. Is it going to be level 9 again? Yes it is. So let's tackle this thing one more time. Now Pidgey is actually a very good Pokemon to use. It's a great flying type. Um, there's only a few flying types you can actually choose from that actually can learn fly in the whole game. But if you want to choose Pidgey, definitely a pretty good Pokemon to use. I didn't use one myself just because everyone uses Pidgey. And oh, we might actually die here. Okay, we're gonna live with 7 HP, that's fine. Come on, man, don't- Okay, good. I was like, you missed this tackle! That's gonna be embarrassing, we lost the last. But, yeah, Pidgey's a pretty good Pokemon. I just chose Pharaoh because no one chooses Pharaoh. And, and Fearow needs- Oh, I've been saying Pharaoh. Fearow needs some love, that's for sure. So, before we go on to the next trainer right here, I'm actually gonna heal up my Pokemon. Um... Potion, this should be able to heal up back to half, and that actually might be good for this battle. So we're gonna fight this trainer right here. Um, this is a bug catcher, so he has a few bug types on his team. I don't know if this is the one with Metapod, okay. I know there's a trainer somewhere around here that has a Metapod and, or a Kakuna, and we definitely don't want to deal with those guys again, because last episode, or two episodes ago at this point, that was so annoying dealing with hardened Pokemon. Now Caterpie is actually a pretty good Pokemon. I know I said, I think I said this when we were going through Viridian Forest. It's, annoying, it's an annoying Pokemon to verse, but if you want to choose it, it's a pretty good Pokemon at the beginning of the game just because it evolves at level 16, I think, to its final evolution, which is Butterfree? Butterfree? So if you want to have a good, strong Pokemon at the beginning, you could use Caterpie, but once you make it later on in the game, the Pokemon kind of gets outmatched by most of the other Pokemon in universe, so it's not that good. And Weedle, I don't recommend picking this thing up whatsoever. <laughs> Beedrill's not the greatest Pokemon in the world, and no one usually uses it. So, not even at the start of the game, it's not that good. So we're just going to continue here using tackles, getting string shotted over and over again, until all of our speed is lost. Like, come on, Weedle, can't you do something else in this? You're so useless. Okay, one more tackle should be able to take out this wheel right here. He's gonna use one more string shot. That's fine. It's not like I wanted my speed or anything. We didn't really need it. And easy. Actually, Bulbasaur is gonna evolve this level to on level 16, so we've got our first first evolution on our Pokemon. That's that's pretty cool. Um, oh, we got one more Pokemon. I want to see our Bulbasaur evolve into Venusaur right there. Or not Venusaur, Ivysaur. Yeah, we're gonna evolve straight to the last evolution. Uh, I kinda wanna... Let's use Leech Seed. I wanna heal up so we don't have to waste another potion. And it will speed up the process a little more. Cause it might be a two shot from here if we hit Leech Seed, which we do, nice. We got that little bit of health here and there. I think this heals two health, so it's pretty good. Each turn. Or three health, actually. So let's use another tackle right here. He's gonna use the tackle of his own. Hopefully, nice. Okay, so we'll take him out next shot, or ne next turn right there. Messing up a bit. And we'll be able to see our Bulbasaur evolve into Ivysaur. I was about to say Venusaur again. Okay, Caterpie's gonna go down. And we're gonna get a little bit of XP. We defeated Colton right there and got $100. Now, I'm gonna be quiet for this evolution right here, guys. Nice, Light Bulb finally evolved into Ivysaur. We will take that. So we should be able to sweep through this route quite nicely now. We do have a little bit of a stronger Pokemon. 
other than just our Spearow and our little Bulbasaur. I actually haven't seen the back sprite of this Pokemon in a while on Leaf Green, so I'd like to see it. Oh, it's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and use a Vine Whip. We, it, it is Stab, and I'm pretty sure it's a special move in this game because it is Gen 3. Tail Whip, gonna lower our defense. It doesn't really matter. We are, like, higher level in all of these Pokemon, so they won't be able to one-shot us here. And we even got an Ivysaur now. It feels so good once your Pokemon evolves and you know that um, you'll be able to just... It'll just be easier. Ooh, he's gonna go Intimidate. I think it's just... Let's just go for Vine Whip, because we got lower attack, and Venusaur's attack already isn't that good compared to its special attack, so... Uh, it isn't super effective, but Tackle, I don't think will do as much. And we don't really have to worry against this Ekans, just because we are a Poison type, so we should be able to... We won't be actually Poison, because we are a Poison type. So he's gonna go for a Lyra here, lower our defense again, I think we're minus two at this point. It's getting scary. We might get one shot by a poison sting, guys. Okay, it's gonna go down there from Vine Whip and almost go up a level. We did defeat Youngster Ben and we're gonna get $100 right there. I think there is like two more, three more trainers on this whole route. Actually, there's a few. Let's, let's battle this one. I don't wanna fight that bug catcher. I don't like versing Caterpies, Weedles, and Metapods. They get a little bit annoying after a while. So, last Sally is gonna send out a Rattata. At the beginning of the game, you're just gonna keep versing these Pokemon, Rattatas, um, Weedles, Caterpies, you'll get used to it. But it is free EXP, EXP that's for sure. Mostly uh, if you have one Pokemon and you gather all of it up. I do recommend level grinding though, if you're only training up one Pokemon, make sure you train up a few. Don't try to go through the whole game with just one. The reason why I'm not doing it right now is because Spearow won't be able to um, as we go up against these Pokemon and switching him out each turn so I could switch in my Bulbasaur kind of uh, is a little bit tiring and annoying. So we are level 17 now, that's nice. I'm gonna go for a Taco right here just because Vine Whip won't be doing that much to Nidoran. He's gonna go for a Growl. Why do you keep lowering my attack, Pokemon? Why? Why? I need this. Vine Whip's already not gonna do that much to Poison types. This is why people don't choose Bulbasaur though. I love Bulbasaur personally, but some people just like swoop it through with Water Gun and also uh, Charmander, because Charmander is just such a strong Pokemon, and Charizard too. So let's get that $160 in the bank, and ooh, it looks like we're actually going to have to fight this Bug Catcher. Okay guys, I am back. I actually did fight this trainer, but he had two, he had a Metapod and a Kakuna that just kept using hard, and I also need to heal up my Pokemon. So I thought it was a good time just to cut out the video there. You guys didn't want to see a hardened battle. Uh, it was just really me tackling it a bunch of times until it died. So we're going to fight this bug catcher right here. James is going to bring out a Caterpie level 11. So we actually might have a little bit more of a challenge here. I'm just going to go for a Vine Whip though. Almost taken out with that Caterpie. Going to be a two shot. And yeah, never mind to that challenge though. <laughs> Caterpie is easily going to go down here. And we're even going to go up to level 18 now which is nice. Our Bulbasaur is leveling up quite nicely. We should be able to challenge the second gym soon. And oh no. Okay, I think I think we're fine here. I think if I use Vine Whip twice, okay. Harden shouldn't be really affected because this is a special move. I hope this is a special move and I'm not mistaking it for a different move. I actually might have to check this later. I'll check it right after this battle, because if I'm giving you guys false, false information, that's not very good. Yeah, let's check this right here. I want to make sure that Vine Whip is actually a special move, not the Pokedex. Okay, Bulbasaur and Summary. So, is Vine Whip a special move, yes or no? Um, it actually doesn't show us. I'm surprised about that. Okay. I guess they didn't show that until like later on in this series. Anyways, we're gonna actually skip this trainer right here and go over here because I want to verse um, everyone in the rock tunnel and actually this might be actually this is the end of the episode. Okay, so actually let's go fight that trainer before we actually end off the episode since uh, we want to go through everyone that wrote. The only reason I didn't want to fight it is because this trainer right here has a Jigglypuff I'm pretty sure. And it's gonna run Sing. And Jigglypuff and Sing, pretty annoying combo. So she's gonna send out Last Robin, 
Ooh, she's named after my Pokemon. But she's gonna send out a level 14 Jigglypuff here, and I'm gonna use Sleep Powder, because I wanna put this thing to sleep before it puts me to sleep. Definitely don't wanna deal with this Jigglypuff. So Jigglypuff should be asleep for three turns, which is good for us. Jigglypuff, uh, if you wanna pick one up, it's a pretty good Pokemon to actually use. Uh, it evolves into Wigglytuff, and Sing is pretty OP on this thing, so if you can put a Pokemon to sleep and then just attack it for three turns, uh, you're usually gonna be pretty good. And another thing I didn't want to happen, this thing has cute charm, and ooh. Okay, please, light bulb. I'm begging you, thank you. There was my one, that was pretty easy. So if you want to go through that battle pretty easily, just put it to sleep, give it pair hacks or something, and you should be able to take it out. That's it? Yeah, that was it. I'm happy that was it. Because usually when I battle that trainer, I have some troubles, that's for sure. So, this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, give me some criticism so I can improve these episode episodes. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, so if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.